Hello my friends, this time I want to talk about some syntax of ES6 CLI command line. It's a very very useful CLI for gathering information, management and troubleshooting of ES6 objects. In this video I want to speak about networking area and this is the part 1. Especially about two main category of uh, NIC and uh, VM. Okay, let's begin. As you can see, um, I want to start with a 6 li network NIC, and you will see sub syntax. And the first step, I want to list them all. Okay, this is how we can gather information about the physical uplink or uh, VM nicks on the ES6i and, and it's uh, detailed information also include some information about the uh, device driver. Okay, let me grab the address. You will see virtual address, uh, virtual MAC address assigned to that VM NIC. It started with uh, 005056 and it shows us uh, this, uh, it's generated by the vCenter itself, not ES6i, and otherwise it must be like this pattern 000C29. Okay, let's back to the NIC list and uh, see information about the name, driver, uh, admin status and link status, speed and duplex status, MAC address, MTU and uh, description. We can also run lspci-v, it's a built-in CLI in the Unix space systems and um, with GURP network, it will show the information similar um, ESXCLI network NIC list command and you can compare them also. Okay, let's go to the ESXCLI network um, VM or virtual machine. Uh, first of all, we can list them. Um, list all of the VM connected to the host and also um, get information about a specific VM by setting the word ID of that VM. Uh, it's connected to a VDS and also you can see MAC address, IP address and um, VM link of its uplink. Um, I will grab the MAC address, okay. For the second selection, I will choose a VM with two uh, VNIC or two virtual adapter, you can see. And also it's connected, um, it's related port group. Now we we'll get information about this VM and you can see port ID of each one of uh, its VNIX, also DV port ID and at last uplink. Okay, it's finished. Uh, in the second part, I will review about the IP and the visage configuration. I hope it's gonna be helpful for you all. Also, follow me in Twitter and LinkedIn, and this is my personal blog and URL address. At last, subscribe me if you enjoyed this video. Until the next part, goodbye.